All right, we're back working on the 1998 Saturn SL2. We're going to put a thermostat, a new thermostat in today. There it comes with the housing, has the O-ring as well. Um, a lot of them actually just come with this insert piece, but this one comes with the whole housing that goes on the hose and the O-ring. And if you can look right underneath the AC compressor, right there is the hose with the housing. Uh, what you're going to need is 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench to take the two bolts out. Got a regular screwdriver to take the hose off. Got the drain pan. We'll slide it underneath as soon as you take that hose off. Antifreeze will come out right away. So make sure the car is somewhat cool um, so you don't burn yourself. So we're going to go ahead and take that hose off first and let the antifreeze drain. You see all the antifreeze coming out there, we're going to go ahead and just let it drain uh, completely out to completely stop. Alright, it's pretty well all drained out. We're going to go ahead and take the two bolts off now um, to go ahead and pull the thermostat housing off. Hopefully you can see that. All right, there's the one out. That's the easier one. And now I'm going to go ahead and get a small ratchet and extension socket to get the bottom one because it's kind of hard to reach to. All right, we've got a ratchet extension, 10 millimeter on there. We're going to loosen this back one up pretty tight. Second one out. Go ahead and pop this housing off. There we go. Draining a little bit still. And you want to make sure, let's see, should have an O ring. Yep, there it is. Make sure you get that off as well so that way you, uh, don't put the new one on with two O-rings, ends up leaking on you, so there's the old one. Alright, you can see everything's off. We're going to go ahead and put the new one on. Um, you can see there we got the O-ring in there as well. 
and go on the same way we pulled the other one off and put the two bolts in. Get the bolt sand started in and make sure your o ring's right too. You don't have any problems with it. There's the easy one. Now let's go ahead and get the bottom one started. Alright, it's hand started. I'm gonna get the ratchet. Snug. Do the front one. Snugged up, two bolts are in. Now we're going to go ahead and slide the hose back on. Okay, got the hose on, and then if you can see, uh, let's see, if you can see that hose clamp. Let's see here. There you go. Now you can see it's all on there, two bolts. That hose clamp, you want to make sure that you put that head up so when you uh, tighten it up, next time you have to take it off, it's easier to to, uh, to get off that way. So have that head up, the hose is on, we'll tighten it up, and then we're going to put some antifreeze in. We're ready to add antifreeze. Just got the AutoZone 50-50. Um, you want to make sure you have 50-50. If you get the straight antifreeze, uh, not a big deal, but you do have to mix water with it. 
usually it's one gallon to antifreeze, one gallon of water. This is 50-50, it's already pre-mixed, so we can just pour it in. Okay, we got the reservoir cap off. Make sure you put it in the right area. This is obviously windshield wiper fluid. Right behind it is where your coolant's gonna go, and the cap says engine coolant. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but make sure you get it in the right area. See if I can do this without spilling too much. And you can see on the side here, you've got your uh, engine coolant level when it's cold. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get it close to that. Then we'll start the vehicle up and uh, get it the rest of the way where it needs to be. All right, so as soon as we start the car up, it sucked everything down that was in the uh, reservoir. We had to add another quarter gallon probably to it. Um, got the vehicle running now, though. Up to the level that it should be, the cold level. So I'm going to put the cap back on. And we're just going to check and make sure uh, we don't see anything leaking. Got a little bit of smoke, obviously, where the uh, antifreeze went on the exhaust. It'll dry up fairly quick, though. But you can see right there, we have nothing coming out. So we'll let it run here for a few minutes, and then we'll check All it. All right, it's been running for a few minutes. Everything still looks good down there, so no leaks at all. Should be good to go. And that was the... Uh, Thermostat change on the 98 Saturn SL2. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe. So I'll be putting more videos on as we need to do more repairs, as well as this vehicle and uh, other vehicles as well. Thanks again for watching.